Hey, it's Joe Lyons from Automator, and today I have a really, really interesting idea. Isaiah and I, we were working earlier with the Claude computer use API, um, getting it working in Docker. Using their approach, we're going to adapt it more to where we can fulfill with AutoHotKey. They have their own built-in ways, but we're going to be um, developing code that will use AutoHotKey for the automation and not necessarily just doing image search stuff. But um, I had this really interesting idea sort of related to it, and I wanted to demonstrate it here. Now, before I um, start showing you the general approach, I'm going to back up a step and explain what I've done so far. Normally, I have three monitors, and what I did was I came into here. Actually, I think I have a hotkey for it, but to get to this view. I, I disabled, so I selected this and said disconnect. From, I changed it to disconnect my computer, so it just has the one monitor, right? Um, so this one is just the only active one. And now when we're recording, that'll be on the screen. Now the next step, now I'm doing it for the video, but also because here's the really cool idea I had. So I'm gonna launch the built-in, now it, this tool is getting going away here, but hopefully we can keep it. So I'm gonna open. So I started this steps recorder, and what's really cool is this has been around for quite a while. Unfortunately, it's being deprecated, but um, I'm going to show you here. Now, there's a couple things that I want to also mention before I'm doing it so it makes sense to you because um, it, there's a lot going on here. The steps recorder will actually capture your screen, which is part of the reason why it captures all the screens, but then it's really kind of confusing in what you're looking at, and not only what I'm looking at, but it'll make more sense here. I don't want to give away the, the big aha I had. Um, but when you're doing this, also record a video. And maybe we'll make a tool that will do both because we could use like FFmpeg to capture your video of what you're doing. So I'm going to hit start record. This is going to start the steps recorder. Now imagine also me now hitting record on my video, right? So I'm going to start record. And then I'm thinking about what I want to do. So think about some sort of process you want to automate. Let's say I want to open site, create a new file, um, maybe do some stuff and then save it. Now. I can come over here and click this link. However, I'm not sure how the computer would see that. Um, so what I would probably do to be a little more, I'm thinking about it, how the computer might do an API approach instead of a human approach. So I'm gonna type site here. Um, and here it is, I'm gonna run it from here. I probably should open like the Windows run thing and type the path and put it in there, right? But um, we've launched site, let me move this guy out of the way. And, um, oh, it, it's, I have a, file here called hello world um, I'm gonna say that is pretty cool I'm just adding some text now that um, hopefully you'll see here in a minute the steps recorder is pretty powerful uh, and now I'm gonna save it and then I'm gonna close and now I'm gonna stop and review now again I would stop the video recording too but what I also should have iterated was as you do each step speak it out loud and it's going to sound crazy you know put your rubber ducky up on the screen whatever and talk to it explain it to it what you're doing so i'm gonna stop and review now here again and i don't know there's some, something weird for some reason can i maximize it i don't know what's going on but it doesn't matter the content's there so it shows you take took screen captures of what had happened um it shows gives you a flow but here's the really cool part right is down here at the bottom it, it has a lot of uia information about what actually happened as well which is really cool right so all of this um i think and i think what we might do is we could build an auto hockey tool that would do a lot of this maybe we could script the screenshots even though at some point those will be helpful for what i want right now i think it has much more to do with this aspect of what programs got started what ones were launched um hopefully how they were launched but i'm going to select all copy Come back over here to Chrome now, and I'm going to go to Claude or your favorite AI tool. Right, I'm using. I'm a big fan of Claude, especially for auto hacking V2 code. And say, um, please evaluate what can be automated with auto hotkey and write. Uh, okay. To code for me to replicate this process. So three, three. There we go. Paste. 
Um, now it added that I think it pasted it as a text file, uh, which is fine. Uh, you get the idea, right? I'm gonna hit submit. Now Claude is gonna look at that, and even though there's a whole computer use thing, so I'm I'm not knocking what they've done, but this is a really cool thing of it walks through and looks from the steps recorder, and this is where also I would say we record the audio, like I mentioned, right? You extract the subtitles, um, the captions and stuff of what you said, and that gets pushed up as a separate file as well. That way, the more verbose you are, uh, the better it's gonna be at having these two approaches. Um, now here, I should have told it, don't use keystrokes when possible, right? Because it looks like it did the, um, it's sending um, control S and control V, not that they're horrible, right? But you get the idea. I think this is a really cool, interesting way um, for doing this stuff. And here I can say, hey, um, I really don't want to send keystrokes. Please use API approaches where possible. For instance, maybe using control send or um, send or post messages. Send. So I know there's ways you can do the send and post message with the paste also. Um, with, without sending keys, not that the sending control V is terrible, right? But again, um, let's just see what it comes up with. Uh, certainly, oh, oh, ah, yes. With Windows messages, API approaches. So let's see, it, it's gonna have a more sophisticated, so this is really what I wanna get to with automating my computer is, oh, look at that. that, that's looking better. So hopefully you get that idea. I think this has got a lot of potential, I think, um, the more we do this kind of stuff, the more we can identify things. And if we get used to talking out loud when we're doing this stuff, it will tell us, hey, you know what? I just saw you doing a bunch of stuff. This is the part of that, you know, hour long process that could be automated very easily and here's how to do it, right? And maybe some stuff you're still doing manually. So hope you enjoyed that video. Please like the video um, if you think this is really interesting and helpful. We're, like I said, we're working on the computer use class uh, with using the API from Claude. And we're, I told Isaiah specifically, even though the, I, I we hate sending, um, looking at image, image search, right? And just click sending clicks, mouse clicks, right? However, when you combine that with AI, and it will also, it checks to verify, like send a mouse click here, look, look for this thing. I, I could say, um, open up my browser and click automate businesses. Well, it would take a screenshot of this, send it to Claude, your API tool, probably find this pretty well, get the coordinates, send back a mouse click. Now the cool part is it'll build into it a verification of like, did it actually work? And if it doesn't, it'll try it again and again several times. So I get the fact that when you're using AI involved with the image search, it's gonna be far more robust than how normal image search works without a hotkey, right? However, there are you know a lot of things that we can look at and go, oh, actually this is the URL that gets to, hey, why don't we just run that URL? Right? Why would we click a button? Like that's just a horrible approach for automating things. And, uh, or like in site, you know, you can use the Win32 controls for doing a lot of stuff. Or even the, um, our, our older, um, older menu options work in site as well. Cause those use the send and post message, one of the two, I forget which one, for, for actually taking an API approach for doing things. And what Isaiah was explaining to me is, once we map out and basically shove in the documentation of how AutoHotKey can control your computer and it understands that, it will provide you AutoHotKey code doing those things. So the, the, each of these will be different approach. So it'll be like the image search approach, then using controls approach or the old menu syntax writing approach uh, or UIA, but UIA is quite complicated. So I'm not, not saying we can't do it. I'm just saying I, I sure wouldn't start there, but with COM and Excel, or a word with Excel, you know, the com object is phenomenal. So why would I be sending coordinates and click here and send text manually? Really, really bad. But hey, there's a com object. I know that's Excel. I know com Excel has these methods and properties. So it, once that AI understands that, it will it can use that and it will write you very good code. And again, it will try it. And if it doesn't work, it will check for that and retry it again. So this to me is just over the top, it's really exciting. It's going to change how all of us automate our computers, um, especially us with AutoHotKey in allowing us to basically outline what we want it to do and it will solve what we're doing. So 
Please like the video if you learned something here and like this approach. Um, look for our future upcoming videos. Thank you. Cheers.